Alright, check, check. One, two, check. Awesome. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm exhausted. But, uh, yeah, this should be fun, right? Oh, jeez. Alright, what is this? Oh, yeah. I have a lot of SDX now. That is pretty neat. Oh, and there's there's the hex mania beside the point. Anyways, guys, welcome to to the stream. I'm gonna be opening up a bunch of Lost Thunder and a bit of other stray packs from here uh, here and there. So I got a couple Sun and Moon base, a couple a few Celestial Storm. I have a locked Forbidden Light, some. Guardians Rising and some old, some expanded stuff as well. Rolling Skies, Primal Class, Fan Forces, uh, the Dreaded Evolutions. Ugh. Um, got an Ancient Origins, got an Ultra Prism, and then the Big Daddy, the Mole. We got over a hundred, a hundred uh, Lost Thunder packs that I'm super excited to be opening. So uh, this is actually a Christmas gift uh, for Secret Santa that I got from. One of my coworkers, uh, girlfriend at the time. Uh, so, if they're if they're watching right now, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for them. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'll hopefully be uploading this to my YouTube channel as well. It's still sort of like a smallish thing, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, uh, let's just start opening up my least favorite pack, being evolutions, because. No one really likes evolutions that much. Yeah, it's got nostalgia and everything, but ugh, that's that's besides the point. Let's hope start start up up some stuff. Uh. All right, so nothing too insane. We got ourselves a Charizard EX. All right, that's cool. And we got ourselves a secret rare of sorts, uh, the Executor. I don't even know what this heck this does. Who is this? It's like someone's executor, I think. I don't know. This is so weird. Mm. Beside the point. Anyway, let's open another one. I doubt I'm gonna get anything else. Oh man. All right. Let's see. We got a Mewtwo. Not bad. Not bad. I like it a lot. Then we got a uh, Reverse Hollow Machoke. Nothing too insane. Pretty excited about that. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Ooh, reverse hollow darkness energy. I like that. I like that a lot. And our hollow is a rat king. Boo. Alright. Next packs. Um Jeez. Alright, we got ourselves a reverse hollow Charizard. Yeah, that's cool. And an electrode. So Oh, that's the wrong card. So yeah, reverse hollow Charizard. It's pretty, pretty cool. Alright, next pack. Let's see. Oh, we got ourselves the DCE. Let's go. And another Radicate. Yeah, I'm not really expecting too much out of this set at all, honestly. There's not really anything playable besides the Starmie and maybe the Mewtwo. That's about it, though. Speaking of Charizard, we got ourselves a Mega. Hell yeah. And that was the last pack, so not a bad way to finish off evolutions. Alright. Which one should we open up next? I'm gonna say Fan of Forces. Let's open up some Fane of Forces. Yeah, we only got one of these packs, which is completely fine. But let's see what we end up getting that. We got a Pumpkaboo. Nice. We got an Enhanced Hammer. And... An Explode. Nothing nothing too insane out of that, except for like the Enhanced Hammer. Um, let's go Ancient Origins. Let's see. I don't think... Ooh, that was weird sound. Let's see. We got ourselves nothing too insane. We got ourselves a combi. First hollow combi, my first one. Nice. And our hollow is a mega infras. It's luscious locks. Going Super Saiyan on this. It's pretty great. Uh, let's open up the Primal Clash one. So let's see what we get into here. I got nothing, nothing too insane from the looks of it. Let's see what our 
rare is a promo pass, yeah. Wasn't expecting much out of it, honestly. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, wrong guys. Last one. Obviously, the chase chase cards for me is probably Shaman. I'm still needing like two Shaman so I can play some more expanded stuff. That's besides the point. I don't know if I'll get it or not. We'll see. Execute and Satu. Valency got magic there, but that's fine. All right. So, which so I'm definitely gonna be saving Lost Thunder for last. Which set should I open up? I, what do you guys think? Which set should I open up? Just get out of the way. Don't have too many packs of anything else. I'm saving Lost Thunder for last, so I want to see what you guys want to see open first before I start opening stuff. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is, oh yeah, sure. Any suggestions? I'd take anything besides Lost Thunder. I'm saving that for last. Yeah. Guardians? Alright, I'll take I'll open up Guardians, let's go. And right, that'll open up the Sun and Moon base stuff. Alright, we got a reverse hall alpha patch, I can roll with that. And a Lunala. Alright. Yeah, 100, 118 Lost Thunder packs. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, nothing too insane, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm super stoked on that. Alright, I saw I saw Sun Moon base next, so I'm opening up that one next. Hoping for Decidue Eyes. Uh, that's if I don't get any, that's completely fine. I don't even know what to be wanting besides Decidue Eyes. So we got ourselves a reverse hollow pre marina and a uh, beware. Uh, nothing insane out of that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, there's one more. I didn't see that, actually. My bad. Celestial Storm? Alright, I gotcha. Oh, from Sun and Moon Base? I didn't even know that the, the Golden Wolf was in this, in this set. Alright, well. I got something. <laughs> got a Larian's GX. I think that's my second one, actually. I could... I don't even know what if people would want that, honestly. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll open up Celestial Storm next. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, let's see what I end up getting out of this. Got a Red Dice. Nothing too insane. So far. Got a Sneasel. That's not bad. Is that Sneasel in particular? Uh, ooh, Versala Rick Candy, nice. And, Red Rock. I don't think this one's too bad. I don't know, probably not, definitely not an expanded. It's not bad there. Alright, let's see, let's see. Alright, come on, not that. Alright, that's not the Deoxys I'd be wanting, but okay. Alright, let's see. And we got ourselves a Cartana. That's okay, I guess. Again, Apricorn Maker, not bad. <coughs> Last pack of Celestial Storm. Probably nothing insane. Got another Deoxys of the non hollow variety. Alright, so we got. We got Ultra Prism and Forbidden Light. I think I'm gonna open up Ultra Prism first. See what we end up getting out of that. We'll see. Oh, we got something. We got us a reverse hollow type no and a shaman. Alright. Boo. Alright. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, let's see. Got another mysterious treasure and another dark hide fossil and Magnezone. Alright, I can take that actually. That's not too bad. 
done. Ooh. All right, now we're on to the big daddy of them all. Let's go. I'm gonna open up just a whole bunch of Lost Thunder. Let's see. What's our first one? We got Unknown Damage. You can mess around with that and expand it if you wanted to. Next bag. Let's see. Got Lost Blenders. Let's see. Oh, we got ourselves a Reverse Hollow Typhlosion. And another Unknown Damage. Alright then. Cool, I guess. Oh, we got ourselves a Heat Factory. Okay, cool, cool. And. Espeon. Like, okay. What does it say? This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of injury attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. That's like a weaker psychic from the. a slightly weaker psychic. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, wait and see, Hammer. Let's go. Alright, and we got ourselves a Moltres. This Moltres isn't bad. It'd be decent fire decks. Let's see if we got. Let's see what we got. I got a Trumbeak, a Reverse Psychics here. That's cool. And. Blacephalon! Let's go! It's my second one. Heck yeah. My first full art. Awesome. Heck yeah. And I could hopefully build Blacephalon. I just need two more then. Let's see. Let's see, we got Unknown Missing, and Heatran. That's okay. Alright. <coughs> Let's see what we end up getting next. We got ourselves a Celebi Prism Star. This is actually a Prism Star that I'm missing for my collection. Um, and Dialga. Alright, I think I have a few of those Dialga specifically. Alright, let's see. Got a Netball, got a Whitney, and Rebombi. Alright, cool. Oh, Hyper Tails. I already pulled one earlier. Um, I have one regular uh, Nine Tails. I just need, I think, I'd hope to at least pull one out of these packs. If not, I'd be super upset. Alright, we got a Versal Snubble and a Steelix. Oh, another one! I need to get Granbull too. I want to. I def. I really want to play Granbull at some point. Oh man. We got a Slow King. All right, nothing insane out of that pack. Oh, got another Moltres. All right. So we're not getting hitting hitting much stuff out of here. Got a Reverse Hall Shuckle. Nice, nice. And we got ourselves a Beautify. Cool. Alright, moving on. Let's see what we end up getting out of here. We got ourselves a Ditto Prism. Nice. I think that's like my third one now. And... Cofagrigus. Yeah, but I mean... I don't know. If I... If I I'd want to church for stuff. But at the same time, it's like opening packs. That's fun for me. But that's just me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, where's the fun in that? <laughs> Alright. Next pack. Alright, so we got a uh, Supreme Arena. And... Two in a row. on that Pyro. Cool. Oh man, we got a reverse hall draft rig and electrifier. I move electrifier. I mean, at this rate, I don't, I wouldn't really need to trade for anything because I'd be hoping to get stuff that I'd want. Got right, so ourselves a choice helmet and a hollow is a. Boys, we did it. I could stop right here. We pulled the big boy right here. Shuckle GX. Let's go. They could, I can I can stop streaming right here and be fine. 
No, let's keep going. Okay, got a Gothagrigus. That's not too bad. I can honestly fool around with that deck. I I wouldn't know where to start though. There's probably a list floating around there somewhere that I could just start messing around with. We got ourselves another unknown missing. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh, we got two rares. We got another Celebi, and we got a Verzion. I think. I could probably trade that away. I think I have a regular Verizion that I'd want to use at some point. I don't know if I'm talking about in my binder or like in the game. I can't remember. I know I, ha I definitely have one of them. Speaking of which, we'll see. Yeah, this is my second Verizion. I think I'll just need the two, so that's fine. Let's see. Let's see. We got ourselves a another Ditto. That's cool. And a Miltank. That's my fourth ditto, so I have a playset now, even though playset, I guess, when it comes to Christmas stars. Let's see, I got ourselves a Giratina. Nice. That Giratina's pretty solid. And we got ourselves a, another Pyroar. Oh, my earbud fell out. Give me a second. We got ourselves Carbink and Umbreon. This is a really pretty Umbreon. Just the art of it. I just want the art of this Umbreon. Alright. Just give me a second. I'm going to respond to this text. Alright. Let's keep on. We got ourselves a little, a little over 90 packs. I mean, I I guess so, but I mean, opening packs though, it, that's the fun part of it. Plus, I mean, I'm planning on uploading this to my YouTube channel later in the day, so. Not today, but probably be, be coming up tomorrow. Or something. Maybe sometime this week, I don't know. Got a little in person. Apparently, this is seen, like, play in Japan. I don't know how good it is, though. Like, I'm very skeptical on it. Like, most decks that I see over, over in Japan. Oh, got a tank growth and a Grovile. This Grovile specifically. It's nice. Got a Lecture. That's like my 10th Lecture that I could probably trade away. And a Zoomerill. That's also seen play somehow. Excuse me. Let's see if we got ourselves a Lantern. And a smear ball. Alright, let's see. Bayleaf. And. Oh, Giratina! I'll take it. Uh, I don't. This is my. So, this is my second Giratina. Nice. So, how is everybody's. Uh... Let's see. Oh, for sure. That'd be awesome, actually. If we can start doing it, I'll definitely, I'll definitely bring my tripod uh, Wednesday for for our league because that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh gosh. Um, but yeah. Well, the question I was gonna ask: How was everybody's? Uh, hey, what's up, Alan? Uh, how was everybody's? Uh, um, like holidays and stuff, like their Christmas. Just getting any, getting any good pulls from from packs and stuff. I like to hear some of your some of your guys' stories. Um, Alan, by the way, you missed uh, me pulling a full out of Blacephalon. So, that was pretty cool. Got another Thunder Mountain. That's my third one. And... Cobalion. New Zork uh, helping my parents. Alright. Of course you got... Of course you got another Nine Tails. I was like, what, your... Oh! Oh, sweet! I just got another jump fluff! That's my second one! Be sweet! Another jump fluff. Pull a full art judge, and you bought the two full art tails. Nice. I have another... I have a, um... What's it called? 
I have a Nine Tails coming in the in the mail soon, so I'm pretty hyped about that. Ooh, Shaman. First, this is my first one. Sixth one. Good God, dude. Or six full art shaman, or not full art shaman, uh, full art or just nine tails in general. That's just so dumb. God. Um. Hey, Mimikyu. I was when I saw the pink, I got excited for a second, but I mean, yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Seventy-nine more packs after this. This one I'm opening. So we should should be fun. Got ourselves a Dawn fan, which is nice. Alright, nothing too insane out of here. Grand Bowl! Let's go! That's the one I'm looking for, heck yeah. Another Grand Bowl. Super excited about that. Let's see, we got ourselves a Zep Strika, Reverse Hollow, that's dope. And we got ourselves a Lantern. Um, I did do some card shopping, so I can quickly show off the cards that I got. So I ended up getting myself a Rayquaza. Got myself two hollow, reverse hollow shrines, and I got myself a full art sycamore. It's pretty dope. Oh, really? That's interesting, actually. Oh, oh sweet! Another Giratina. Nice. That's our third one now. Let's see, we got ourselves another Thunder Mountain, and a Ho-Oh. This is actually, this art's been reprinted, I think, from back in the day. I think it's like a Neo set. I could be wrong, though. What was that last card? Uh, it was a Sycamore. Professor Sycamore. Full art. Yeah. And then a Lele. That's my third one. Next card. Next pack, I should say. Come on. I want good stuff. Alright, unknown hand. Oh, dang. Unknown hand, boys. Boys and girls. Let's go. Ooh, reverse hollow. Up to. Let's see what we got. Sudinja. Apparently, I've seen this in Blacephalon decks. So I don't know how well. I don't know how good it is, though. I'm not. I'll, I'll try it out if I end up pulling another Blacephalon. We'll see. We got ourselves. We got ourselves a shuckle, y'all. Let's go. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Best second format right there. Unknown hand. Heck yeah. Got ourselves Meloetta. And Smeargle. Jesus. Put a lot of Smeargle. Smeargle. Alright. We got ourselves Hand Doom. Hound Doom. Reverse Hall Onyx, my third one actually, I'm surprised. Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm super, super excited now. Got a Lapras, oh, it's so pretty. I like it, the name of its ability though, go for a swim. When it's during your turn before you attack, I mean, look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back into your order. Okay, so you can control your top deck in a way. That's not bad, it's like okay, I guess. You can combo that with uh, a Rangaroo, probably. Got Unknown Damage. Alright, that's a new one. And Umbreon. Third Umbreon. Let's continue on. Play some more, play some more stuff. Got ourselves a Life Force. And Kyurem. Sweet, actually. I've been wanting these Kyurems. I forgot that those was in the set, actually. White Kyurem is actually uh, not, not a bad uh, deck, actually. Let's see. Ooh, Victini. Fourth one. We got a play set. Heck yeah. Let's see what we end up getting here. Oh, we got ourselves a two cannon And Primarina. Ah. All right. Let's see what I end up getting. Got a Wigglytuff and a Sweet Kingdom. My first hollow one, actually. I think I got the promo one from a uh, from a pre-release kid. Unknown hand. 
Nice. Let's see. Unknown damage. Alright. How many do I have? That's my seventh one. Good goodness. Eee. Already, yeah. It's a little insane. Uh, a little Persian again. Uh, again, I'm super, super sketch on that, on that deck, honestly. With the uh, Lycanroc GX, the new one. I think it's the Dust form, where it's a. Uh, well, like it's this. I think it's like a Team Flare Grunt as an ability when you play down onto a Bogger Rockruff. It's full tech. Sixth one. Oh wait, no. Eighth one. So I don't. I'm not sure. Ooh, SPL. So I'm not sure. All right, we got ourselves a cell, another Celebi, and Melowita. Is that a Hollow? No, it's not Hollow. It's just regular, regular rare. Okay. We'll see. what we'll see what I end up getting from here. I do like. I will say I do like this alone in Meowth though. It's pretty solid. I like it a lot. Hi, Roar. My fifth one. Jesus. All right. Let's see what I end up getting. Another Celebi. All right. And a ho. -ho. That's our. We have a playset now. That's cool. Okay. Obviously, we're looking for. I'm just getting a bunch of. I forget how many cards are in this set. There's like over 200. 200. That is insane, honestly. Got ourselves another Life Force and an Azumarill. And we have a playset now with those. Oh, get over here. Oh, jeez. We're getting through. And now we got Full Art Mimikyu. We could probably trade some of the stuff away at some point. Then better if that was Full Art Nine Tails. I'd hope at least to get one more Nine Tails. I don't know though. Got a Victini and Tyranitar. That's my third one. Is it real looks sad? I'd have to look at the card again just to see. I don't know, it looks content at something. I don't know. From what I saw. But our third Tyranitar. Apparently it was like a deck. Tyranitar GXs. I'm not sure though. Let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. We got ourselves a Beautifly. Next pack. Got less than 50 packs, y'all. It's getting down to the wire. We got ourselves a Primarina. Alright. Lucimine Prism Star? That's my sixth one! Jeez! And Pyroar. Of course it's a Pyroar. How many lectures? I have 12 lectures now. I have three play sets of them. Jeez. And Tangrowth. Cool. How many? There's 200, over 200, 200 cards. Which is, in, which is insane. Like, they just clumped in just a bunch of, uh, a bunch of mini sets together, if I recall correctly. Scizor. Cool. Let's see. We got ourselves a Lantern. 44 packs. Minus the one I'm opening right now. We got ourselves a Reverse Hound Doom and uh, Umbreon. And Umbreon. Oh, jeez. <laughs> see what we end up getting. Another Espeon. We just keep getting the non the non uh, GX evolutions. Looks like I'm fine with, so. I'm not mad about it. They're pretty cards to look at. Reverse Hollow Scissor. And Smeargle. Jeez. I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit. That way I'm sort of like in the center. Okay, we got two rares. Cool. Hey, Curum. Oh, I do have a playset now. Now I can play it, but now I can play the deck if I wanted to. And Lugia. Nice. For Lugia. That could be a decent deck in something. I don't know what, though. It's colorless, so it's not bad. Alright. Malawetta. And Zepstrika. Nice. My fifth one. Jeez. 
uh, the regular, uh, the regular arch variety. <clears throat> we got ourselves a, a, a Persian. I have a playset now. I guess it really wants me to play it once the Icarot comes out. Sigilif. Oh, that's my second full art. Alright. And Zoro Control? Oh god, but that's Zoro Control. I don't want to be, I don't want to be a... Oh, uh, no. I don't want to be a heathen for playing Zoro Control. God, no. I'm not going to play Zoro Control. There's no way I'm going to do that. Uh, Blacephalon! Third Blacephalon. Let's go. So I can now actually play the deck. Awesome! Because I have, I have all the pieces. Ah! I'm hyped. Let's go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, this art, by the way, I just want to collect this art of Lapras. This is just super pretty to look at. It's like nicely hand-drawn. I love it. Alright, I'm very jumpy now after that. So, we got ourselves Unknown Hand. Let's go. It's my fifth one. Awesome. Let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. Gardasos Moltres. Another lecture. Mina and Reverse Hollow Marie. And a Micargo. Alright, we could play a suboptimal version of Lacephalon now, if we wanted to, with Micargo GX. That's nice, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty to look at. It's a Rainbow Rare, so that's nice. We got ourselves. Hey! Nice! I'll take it. We got ourselves a Secret Rare Custom Casual. That's awesome. I know a specific person that has that. So, in real life. Which is nice. Alright, let's see, let's see. Got a Reverse Hollow Vespa Quinn. And. Gardevoir. I just actually want to be a bad tech in a Gardevoir deck. Let's see. Wobbuffet. My third one. Oh, I, I, I just noticed this. Look, the artwork on the back of Wobbuffet's just. It looks like Blissephalon's head. That's cool. What's this ability even? As long as this Pokemon's in, in, on your bench, push them to start Pokemon and play. Both yours and your opponent can have. Can't attack and have no abilities. Oh wow, that's a little little nuts. Kind of like the old older one from Generations. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Got ourselves Nano Lego. Nice. Not bad, not bad. And Umbreon. Nice. Got ourselves a Reverse Hollow Skiploom, which is cool. Ooh, Reverse Poipole and Chandelure. I just love Chandelure as a Pokemon. I don't know why. It just looks cool. It's pretty to look at, especially this card. Alright, we got a two cannon and a Lele. The fourth one. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna be able to use it, use those Leles, but we'll see. We got ourselves a tank growth. Cool. Alright. Another Espeon. Cool. Let's see. So once once this whole once this whole sh shebang is com is done with, what decks do you guys want to see me play? Um I can I can let you just look through my Look through my collection just to see what you guys want me to play. I'll, t I'll take any. Well, I have this now. I can... Oh, oh, it's a chandelier. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that actually. I don't even know how many of these I have. I have two now. There's five chandelier. I wouldn't even know what Zach I'd use Meganium with. It's so weird. That whole that whole deck. 
Got no life force and a beta fly. CDT. Oh, I don't even know if I have the deciduous. I have one. I have one nine tails. I don't even have any deciduous. I didn't open up much of Sun of Sun and Moon base set at the time. Of deciduous being a big thing back then, which is unfortunate. It was very unfortunate. And then Celery Prism Star and another Blue Beautiful Eye. Now the Zoroarks, I have a Nine Tails, so I could put a two one nine in there if I wanted to. But I don't have any Decidui. At least I don't think I do. As far as I'm aware, I don't have any Decidui. <laughs> Thanks. Alright. Let's see what do we end up getting. We have 16 packs left, so if We'll see. We got ourselves Xerneas Prism Star. Nice, nice. And. Sceptile. We got a Rainbow Rare Sceptile. That's awesome. I don't think I need it though, so I could trade that away. Maybe get something out of it. I don't know. Hold on to some Lost Thunder Patch or something. Or that we get. Got another Shedinja. Let's see, Cobalion, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see, we got ourselves another Fortress, which is a little unfortunate. So, we'll see what we end up getting from here. Alright, got another Electivire, which is unfortunate, but that's okay, honestly. Um. Sees another sigil of goodness. I it's like an interesting concept for a Pokemon, but I don't need three full arts. Jeez, I don't even know if sigil of would even come in handy at some point. I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, got ourselves unknown missing. I'll see if I can trade for a grain bowl because that's all I'm missing. I'll see what it takes to just get a grain bowl. Got ourselves a Anthros and. I know I'm missing. Alright, eight more packs. We'll see what we end up getting out of these, and then... Alright, got an Electivire, and Unknown Hand. I didn't even... I have six now. Which is neat, I guess. Alright, so we got a two cannon. I need I need something good to end off this end off this pack opening. Come on. Come on. I need something. Come on. Alright, we got ourselves a Typhlosion and Wobbuffet. Come on. Give me them give me that last pack's magic. I guess. I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on. I need something good. Give you a tails luck? Oh, jeez. I don't know, dude. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I haven't seen a single nine tails, which is unfortunate. I'll see what I have to trade for one, but we'll see. Oh gosh. All right. Okay. Why am I looking at that? I don't know. Let's see. Come on, come on. I need that good luck, boys. Oh, last pack, y'all. Last pack. And then I'll see what I have to trade for it. We got ourselves a smear goal. And an unknown. Unknown missing. Oh well. But we that wasn't too bad, I'd say I'd say at least. We got ourselves. We got ourselves two heat factory. A bunch of life force. A bunch of lucimine now. Um, we got ourselves a bunch of sightseers and elms. Got some Thunder Mountains. Got oh yeah, I we got ourselves a custom catcher of the secret rare variety, which is nice. Uh, let's go back up to the front. We got ourselves. Let's see, what are. Yeah, we have two Meganiums now, so I could be a complete heal and just play a Meganium deck. Um, we got ourselves one more Jump Bluff. We got ourselves a Shuckle. A, a bunch of Celebi. It got. I've had those saps out for a while. We got ourselves a bunch of... We got a sec second Raisian, which is nice, nice. 
Um, we got a second Mac Cargo, I think. We got two Blacephalon now. Well, three now. So I can play a Blacephalon deck. We got ourselves a play set of White Kyrium, which is nice. Um, let's see, what else did we get up that's pretty good? Uh, we have, I have some Raikou, which I could maybe end up making a deck out of some point down the line. Now, I don't know, Raikou strikes me as a decent deck for some reason. Got a bunch of the unknowns, which is nice. We got a lot of Wobbuffet. Got Giraffe Rigs, got Shedinjas, got ourselves Giratinas, which is nice. Um... We got ourselves some Confagrigas, some Chandelures, a bunch of Poipo. We got ourselves a things of, two things of Naganadal, which is nice. Um, we got ourselves a lot of Larvitar and a lot of uh, Onyx. Let's see. We got ourselves three Tyranitar. Um, we got ourselves, yeah, that's the one Nine Tails that I have. Uh, I just need one Grand Bowl to finish the deck. I could probably trade for it. That's just the one card that I'm missing. We got some Mimikyu. Um, got five Ditto Prism Star. Got two Lugia. Um, well, I'm just pointing out all the stuff. Oh, where is that Sad Azimaru? I can find that quickly. Hang on. Uh, where is it at? Oh, no, it doesn't look sad at all. It looks, it looks content. There it is. Yeah, it doesn't look that sad. Yeah, it just, look, it just looks content. It's got a smile on its face. Let's see. It's, or at least a smirk on its face. I don't know. I have to, I have to take a better look at it. We have ourselves a full art Sceptile, Bliss Aphelon, Suicune that I've had for a little bit, a... Sigilif, my I got two Sigilif out of here, which is not bad. Got ourselves a Mimikyu, got ourselves a few Rainbow Rares, which is nice, which I might end up trading for, trading for stuff. Oh yeah, this is like other stuff as well. Um, I don't have Quagsire surprisingly. I should probably find some. I got a Dragonite, this one. Oh, nothing too insane. Oh yes, I got that Sceptile. Alright, I'm going to quickly check the trade stuff just to see what I can get. Because I definitely want to see if I can get myself a Grand Bowl. What's this one? No, I don't want another. Just... <laughs> Let's see. I don't even know what I'd trade for. What's Dragon Ma Dragon's Majesty? Oh, we're just saying like I was scrolling through a bit a bit too quickly, I guess. Yeah, probably. Uh, what would I trade for? Tapu Fini GX. What would I? What would I want? No, nothing from there. Let, let me see what Grand Bowl. Uh, no trades. All right, cool. We'll just do that. Uh, let's see. I'm getting Grand Bowl. Yeah. Alright, let's, let's do this. Let's... Um, I can honestly afford I don't play Malamar decks at all, so I could probably afford to do that. Yeah, why not? Honestly, if anything, I could just buy the theme decks for online. I already have a place set in real life, so... Yeah, okay, I got you. So yeah, I'll, I'll take this trade, honestly. I'm not I'm not completely worried about it. Alright, so, play set of Grain Bowl now, which is awesome. So now I think I can play the deck. Um, anyone have any any other suggestions? Um, let me see what I'm missing, actually. Oh yeah, I'm missing an Oranguru. I could probably take out an Oranguru. I don't know what I'd put in, though. Let's see. I could... Hmm... What would I put in instead of the Oranguru then? Because I have two. I think one. Uh, maybe a second Diantha. That'd probably be good, actually. I don't know if I have another Diantha, so I'll take that out. See if I have a Diantha. 
I do. Oh, sweet. So yeah, um, I think this list would be fine. I could probably take out the Lost Blunders. Maybe put in another. I don't know what I'd put in. Let me see. The energy's fine. April Power Maker's fine. The supporters are fine. This is all fine. Let's see. I have a list somewhere that I really liked. Let me see. I have fiery flint, just the discard stuff. Um, so let's let's complete. So yeah, this is all. For the the Pokemon line is completely fine. I think. Four Ultra Ball, four Great Ball, four Nest Ball. I'm a serious. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll take down two rescue stretcher. I really don't think I'd need that many. And add another mysterious treasure to it. Uh, I'll definitely see if I can add a power pack. Yeah, just the discard stuff, yeah. Um, and then maybe... I kind of want to take out the Lost Blunders. Because... Lost Wandering stuff in this deck just feels really bad at times. I'm definitely going to take those out. They just feel kind of terrible to do. Let's see if I have a card. This Fiery Flint just seems fine. Just to discard stuff from my hand. Let's see if I have it. I... Yeah, I have a Fiery Flint, so that can work. Um, just to discard stuff. And then a Pow Pad and a Pokemon Catcher. Probably. Uh, would be fine. Eh, we could probably do without a second Guzma. Or we can probably work with two Guzma. Let's see, Swift Field Blur in here? Yeah, alright. Let's see, so we have three cards to work with. So I'll put in a Pow Pad just to recycle some supporter cards back into the deck. So there's a single pal pad and then do I have a switch in here? Just a hard switch. I do not, so I'll just put in the actual switch in here. Because switch this helps out a lot. This is one of those big brain decks that I really just want to play but I'm probably terrible at. Alright, let's see. Um and probably a Pokemon catcher wouldn't be bad either. Just to thin it out of the hand. It's a it's a thing in thinning card, so just fine. Okay, so this is this this is the the Gramble list that I'm gonna be rocking today. So let's let's try the deck out. It should be fun. Yay. So let's play some let's play some Gramble. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's go. Alright, um, that's standard. Eon Pulse? What's, why is it in here? This is not standard, my friend! Nothing in this deck is standard except for Pokemon Fan Club, I think. Escape Pro, Pal Pad, Ultra Ball? Yeah, nothing else is standard. What is this nonsense? I don't understand. Why is this in here? Uh, oh, excuse me. Alright, alright, where, where's Granbull? There is Granbull. Uh, I'm super excited to play this. I'm not really sure why, but I just am. Let's do it. Let, let's do it. Okay. All right. Let's see what I'm playing and what I'm going up against. Oh, I probably should build Blissethon at some point too. Okay. My hair is just oh sweet. Won the coin flip. Okay. So I'll definitely go first in this exchange. But I'm just not. Well, I'll definitely be working stuff out. That's a that hand is not bad actually. <coughs> April Corn Maker for a couple of Nest Ball too. This would this this hand wouldn't be too bad. I could get set up pretty well with that. All right, so we got a Slugma, which is which is not great. I had to Mulligan twice. All right, so let's start off with that. We have a decent hand to work with, so. 
Let's see what my top deck is. So I'm guaranteed at least a turn two my cargo, which is nice. It'd be awesome if I could top deck a. Alright, that's not really one of the top deck, but that's that's fine, I guess. I could discard it with Ultra Ball. Let's go ahead and Great Ball, see what I get off here. Um, I'll definitely get the Snubble. That seems fine. We can place that down. We can. Attaching here seems completely fine, and then I'll Great Ball again. Get myself another Snubble. Then we can Ultra Ball away, Fiery Flint, and Granbull. That way I can get myself an Orangaroo. I have one prize, which is not really great. And then I can smooth over for some stuff. Alright, cool. Um, I'm probably playing on a little Nine Tails deck of sorts. So, let's go ahead and Guzma up the... Guzma him up. And then we can bring up this Snubble with that, and then... I don't see any harm attaching Choice Fin there. We'll see. We'll see how this ends up. I have a card in hand. I'm definitely going to be smoothing over for something. There's an after bike. So it's a Marowak deck of sorts. Oh, is it the Limbo Limbo one? With like, it does some amount of damage times the amount of Alolan Pokemon on your bench or something? This would be interesting. Because it seems like that. Um, but we'll see. Alright, so there's a Ditto. It's probably going to evolve into whatever they want. Oh, and this has two retreat, which is really nice. I'd have to burn a DCE on that. <coughs> There's a Lily for eight. To get eight, at least. So, let's see. There's a Netball. There's another Vulpix. So, it's Vulpix, or Alola Ninetales alone. That's Ninetales Marowak. Alright, this should be interesting, I guess. What at the end of discarding? That's another Acrobike. So they just oh that's rough right there. They just card they're down two DCE. That's insane actually. All right, so there's a grain bowl. And so let's just go ahead. Should I instruct? Should I instruct now? While I have grain bowl in my hand. I'm. I'm hmm. I think I will. I'll instruct right now. Just to see what I get. Okay, that's a burnable. That's a burnable card. Which is unfortunate. So I'm down. I'm down an energy, which is okay, but that's fine. I'm not all out for the knockout. <laughs> I'll see what I get here. Alright, I got a choice band. Which is fine. So the problem's just gonna beacon, probably, from the looks of things. <clears throat> so we'll see what they end up doing. So there's that nine tails. Oh, I need to get down a what's it called? A what's what's it called? A a shrine to get that down because that'd be really nice. There's a Guzma. I'm taking out my, my cargo, which is not great. Which is fine for now. I just need to get down another my cargo. So. <coughs> Doing a hundred damage, which is completely fine. Go up with Grand Bowl. Ah, jeez. We can attach here, then I'll. I'll need to instruct and hope that it hits. Ah! This all feels really bad. Alright, so there's that. I don't think it. Ah. So I can attach there. And then. Ah, jeez. I can Guzma up this line, this guy. And then bring out the Snubble. And then. I'll hold on to that. Holding on to... 
Now let's. I don't even know if making a mess would be fine. If you're doing 20 damage to it, which could soften it up, I'll just. I don't know. I think. No, I think I'll. I think I'll pass, honestly. I don't know. This is this is a very this is a very complicated deck, honestly. Now I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> like, so there's that Marowak. There's an Ultra Ball. Uh, there's a Cyrus down. All right. Oh, there's the. AB nine toes, which is not really gonna do much, but jeez, ah, just failing, failing those instructs really hurt. <coughs> and there's a beacon for nothing. All right, that's fine. Okay, April corn maker is really great here. It's like in nest ball twice. I can, I can great ball on, I can do not, mm. I had to go for a great ball in this instance, right? Go for, go for that, because I'd need to get my, my snubble out of that, snubble out of the active if I can. Let's go nest ball first, get myself a slugma. Then I will, great ball, hope. That's not great. Uh, it's stuck for two. Hopefully, hit something. Let's see. Then I okay. Yeah, this works. Then I can go for a grand bowl. Yeah, wait, am I out of grand bowl? How do I end up? Okay, I don't think I can win now. All right. Yeah, I don't think I can win. Yeah, let's. Prizing, prizing you Grand Bowl there, it just kind of hurt. I didn't realize it, that I prized you Grand Bowl. was not paying attention. Alright, what's this whole thing here? Alright, let's just, let's just go around. Let's just go another round. We'll, we'll pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a bit rough. Very, very rough, I'd say, honestly. Okay, so it looks like we're playing against a Grass Psychic deck of sorts. I lost the flip, which is unfortunate. Well, it looks like we're both shuffling back into our decks. Alright, so the Ditto Prism started. That's not great. Honestly. So there's my Mulligan. Ah, oh, jeez. Starting the Ditto Prisms is not great, honestly. Let's see. Oh, it's Lost March. Alright, so these should be... This should be easy. I should be able to trade pretty favorably. Uh, at least, that's the hope. Um... Yes? Perfect. I'll take it, honestly. So I got four ball search cards. I can get set up pretty easily. That is a little annoying, but it makes Shrine a dead, dead, hand, dead card in my deck now. Which is fine. I don't think they've realized what I'm playing again. But... Oh, that's a little rough on them. Alright. Now, four soul ball search cards. Alright, so let's get myself set up here. I'm gonna. I have. Uh, uh, Slugma is. So I get that. I'll get myself a. an Orangaroo. Seems fine. And let's hope that I can hit something off this. Okay, I have that now, which is nice. So that's a definite for next turn. And then we can Ultra Ball away that in the Pokemon Catcher. Get myself a Snubble. Get that down. We can do that. And then we can instruct for one. That seems fine, actually. 
All right, another energy. That's great. Okay. Um, sweet. I probably should not have done that, but you know that's okay. I can. Eh, yeah, I can get there. I, yeah, I can get there actually. Let's just pass. So I can. Let's see. So I can evolve my cargo. So I can evolve evolve into my cargo next turn. Whether whether <clears throat> whether or not they take out my ditto or not. But they have nothing in their hand, so. Alright, so I can God oh, jeez, that's not great actually. So I can do that. We can yeah, we can attach here. Then I'll smooth over for the for an ultra ball. As long as I still have still have one of my, um, have, ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I do have an Ultra Ball. I was, like, searching through, I was like, why is there more of my Ultra Balls? Right, so there's that, so you can do that. <coughs> then we can instruct for it. And we can play the Ultra Ball, grab myself a Grand Ball. Evolve, evolve the Ditto into Grand Ball. And now we can take a knockout with all out. <coughs> Alright, so. Sweet, and so I have a Grand Bull to retaliate with. Awesome. <coughs> so, as long as this, oh, there's a mountain pass. As long as I don't draw into anything insane. That'd be fine. Alright, there's a great ball, so I can... I can guarantee myself another... something else. So let's go ahead and smooth, smooth over for... I'd say another... Aranguru? That way I can just guarantee it for... Guarantee that for myself. I will evolve there. I'll do that, that way I can guarantee myself the Rangaru. Grab it and then put it on my bench. And if one gets knocked out, the other ones won't do anything. So I'm pretty fine for right now, I'd say. Okay, so another Snubble, so that's great actually. <coughs> they're just dead drawing, which is really unfortunate. Now they got the Lily, which will definitely help them, but they're so far behind at this point. That there's no real way of them coming back from it. That 20, 40, 60 damage. 80 now, which is not enough. I can place the snubble down, or depending on my top deck, I could a serious treasure, or depending on what my top deck is, I'll, it could be a burnable card as well. This is an Orangaroo, so now they got that going for them. I could maybe Guzma and take out the Orangaroo. I'm really not worried about Jumpluff, honestly. I could Guzma. We'll see what my top deck is. There's another Mountain Pass. Um, they're doing 100 damage now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, so they just lost Marching for 100. Which is fine. Um, okay, so... We can get myself a Guzma this turn. Smooth over. I think I have one in deck for my so Yeah, there's a Guzman deck. So smooth over for that. Construct. <coughs> Place that down. Then we'll do that. Put Guzman up the Ringaru. And then just take it out with all out. That way their draw is severely limited. Rescue Stretcher is nice. I don't even know what I have. That'd be Rescue Stretcher back. And I just lost Marching. That's really unfortunate, actually. Um, there's a Choice Band. Um, let's smooth over for Mysterious Treasure. That way I can just get out of my hand. Then we'll instruct. Now we can attach here and do that. Then we'll call it 
points there, and then we'll all out. <coughs> Alright, another grand ball. Actually, that was really nice. Okay. This is Tate and Liza. Shuffle draw five, which is fine. Here's an Ultra Ball. Goes for a Skip Loom, and we may have a Skip Loom down. Floor Path into the Sky. Alright. So we lost March for 140. They're just so far behind at this race. Really not great. Let's go up and with this snubble. This is a clean one, which is nice. April Corn Maker, okay. Get down a nest ball. Get another nest ball for a snubble and then great ball and fail it. Do that. A nest ball for another snubble. Now we'll more great ball. Fail it. And then we'll just all off for knockout. <coughs> so yeah, at this rate they're super far behind. Which is rather unfortunate. There's a four mountain pass. There? Where's the Tate and Liza? But at this rate, it's it's not really gonna matter once... Yeah. So that's a perfect top deck. And we'll just fail it. Then we'll all out. <coughs> so yeah. That was great. That was fun. Gets... Grand Bull gets just gets you thinking, which is really nice. I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. At least I like it a lot. Super nice. <coughs> just 960 damage, which is insane. Let's quickly build Blacephalon. I think I'm gonna do that quickly. I wanna have a chance. Uh, deck manager. Let's. Uh, Steam decks. Why is this. Yes. Let's delete that deck. I'm never gonna play it. Um, let's quickly build Blacephalon. So, standard. Poi Pull. Oh. I can't spell. There we go. It's a 4 4 Mega Mandel. Put those in there. One, two, three. Alright. Then a Marsh Shadow and a Lay Lord. Yeah, Marsh Shadow GX. This Lele. Alright. That seems fine. How many energy are you using in Blacephalon decks? Like what? 15? 16? Honestly, I'm not sure. So let's get fire energy. And let's get that beast energy in here too. Beast energy. So that's. That's half my deck taken care of right there. <laughs> I just gotta worry about training cards. Um, shoot, I don't even know. Your choice helmet's pretty good in it. I'll put three choice helmet in it. Um, heat factory is great. Let's see how we find it. All right, there's heat factory. I'll put an ultra space in here, maybe two. All right, two ultra space. <clears throat> Um, Ultra Balls and Mysterious Treasure are great. Let's 
So there's that. Um, draw supporters. Let's get. Let's get. I think. How many Guzma? Four Guzma seems fine. Oh, let's do three Guzma. That seems fine. <coughs> Cynthia. Four of those. <coughs> Sophocles seems fine in here. I'm gonna play. Put two Sophocles in here. And then. Lily. Um. Nathan, if you're still watching, how many Lily do you or do you do you play in your Bull Sample deck? Like what, two, three, or do you play a full set of them? <sighs> I'll put only like two for now. Three seems fine. You know. Okay, so three. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's do. Do you run like a full playset of Guzman too? I want to say you do, but I think three Guzman is fine regardless. I think Dado Prism Storm would be. Um, I don't know. Let's. What else could I put in here? Hmm. I honestly don't know what else to put in here. I have four cards to play with, so. Oh, B strings. What am I doing? Yeah, B strings is another one. Four B string. That seems fine. Yeah. There we go. That's 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 what that's what I'm rolling with now. This seems fine, honestly. A whole sixteen fire energy. So now I have less Ephelon built, which is really cool. Cephalon GX Mega Map Dell. Yay. Yeah. Which is awesome, actually. I'm super hyped about this. I don't have a red coin. Wait. Oh, no, I have a fire coin. Sweet! Alright, so let's change this to the fire psychic. I think we'll just do a true fire thing. Yeah. Okay, and then coinage, coinage is good. And then we'll just have a random buzz rock tails built here with just the one and nine tails. Yeah. Alright. So I have that built, which is nice. I don't know. I don't know what else I build. Let's see. Uh, two expanded expo. Not really. That's it. You can delete that. And Buzzrock expanded. Oh, an old faithful. I can maybe buy another pack of Lost Thunder. Ooh. Let's see. Huh. Alright, let's keep playing some Grand Bull. I like playing Grand Bull, that was a lot of fun. Hmm. Let's see what I end up going up against. Dragon's call of the psychic deck, alright. Should be interesting, I'd say. I'm hitting for weakness, which is really key right there. 
It could. I don't even know what it'd be. Honestly, gosh, that would have been a decent opening hand. Three nest balls right then and there. I can have an attachment for turn. Let's see. Uh, a Rangaroo. That's not a great start. I've had a Morgan twice, which is not good. There's that. I don't even remember if I'm going first or not. This is gonna be... Ah, uh, it's Ultra Necrozma. Alright. This should be fun. Lumpurge. Pokemon Fan Club. I'm surprised not for an Elm. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm normally Necrozma decks are... I'm not... Type Null? What does Type Null do? Or not type null, so valley. Does it give free retreat to basic Pokemon? But there's no point in that if... Alright, whatever. I'm, I'm super confused by what's going on here. Alright, so... <coughs> Psychic attachment for the turn. Alright, so let's nest ball first for a... Snubble. Then we can do that. We can get none of this stuff. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Um... I wouldn't even know what to do here. I'd probably fail it. Oh, what's up? Hi! Um... Would I even... I wouldn't even grab anything from it, right? Yeah. Um... I, I can't even instruct. Well, I could instruct. Um, dumbbell seems more important than I can do with that. Then I can strike to see what I get off this top. There's a, there's a, there's nothing I can do, which is really unfortunate. Ah. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That is a big, big yikes, yikes moment. I got the Malmar. What is, I don't even remember what Silk Alley does, honestly. Oh, that was loud. Uh, Excalibur Fox, I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Oh, man. But, oh. Okay, just a Photon Geyser for 100. Oof. Um, yeah, there's not really much that I can do. I could maybe attach to a Rangaroo. And hope that I get something off here. Like an Ultra Ball? There's a Shrine. That doesn't help me at all. Now I'm just passing now. At least you're building up Shrine damage. The Pokemon that really... At least the Pokemon that kind of matter. There's a Mysterious Treasure. But I'm not quite sure what to do. Because I'm dead drawing at this rate. And this Orangaroo is going down. I have no way of getting my hand down to a thing of zero, and, um, Rainbow most likely will be going down, which is rather unfortunate. So this is, they're, they got a fully powered Dawn Minx now, which is not great, but they do have, they'll be down to 160 damage. Yeah, that's a bad copycat, dude. Oh! That's a bad copycat. Don't copycat against the Grand Full Attack. That's something you don't want to do. <clears throat> so Grant, so this guy's going down. I have no draw support whatsoever. My 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 hope is that I get is that I get a an Ultra Ball, and I don't. So I'm just kind of stuck here, doing that and all outing for not all damage. I have. I don't know what else I can do at this rate. The Granbull can survive for a little while. <coughs> and they'll definitely be, be, be building up um, Shrine damage. I'd hope at this rate to get a... What's it called? A Fairy Energy. Because I'm sort of struggling there. Oh, I needed to see that. That's Hill Valley. Dang it. I really needed to see that Hill Valley. That's not good. 
Alright, let's see what this does. Gyre, your basic Pokemon have no retreat cost. Okay, so now they can free they have no retreat. They don't lose weakness, which is phenomenal, which is great. So, he's surviving. I just hope that my top deck is just phenomenal. Yeah, so they all, now they're all just building up shrine damage, which is great. Apricorn Maker! Oh my god, you are a lifesaver. Holy god. Okay, let's go and get myself two Nest Ball. That way... Alright. That's two Nest Ball. We'll get myself a... Or an Orangaroo. And a Slugma. I'll do that. We'll get myself an Orangaroo and a Slugma. And I'll evolve. I'm not gonna instruct yet. And now I can all out and knock out this um <coughs> this guy. Take two prizes. Okay, Diantha, that's perfect. That is so perfect. I can get myself an energy and get an ultra ball, I think. And then ultra ball away the slugma, right? I can do that. At, at least that's what I'm thinking, right? There's a beast ring. It's not really... I'm ahead in the prize race. This... This Grand Bull's going down regardless. So... Let's see. So they're knocking this guy out. I just need to knock out... That guy. So this is perfect, actually. So go up with the Grand Bull. What would I... I'll go up with this Grand Bull here. <laughs> Let's see what my top deck is. Okay, Fairy Energy. Okay, so that decreases what I need to get now. Um. So yeah, let's. Hmm. So, I'll definitely attach. I'll definitely attach there, and then I'll Diantha for the Great Ball and. A slump snubble. <clears throat> yeah, this seems fine. So then I can bench these guys <clears throat> and then burn this burn this great ball. Yeah, that's completely fine. And now I'll just all off for knockout. Alright, there's an Ultra Ball, so now I I can get a uh, I can get a uh, a Mac Cargo this next turn. I just overkill this Ultra Necrozma now that I'm thinking about it. Good god. And Shrine's still in play, which is great. So now 60 to 10. So yeah. So I can go and knock out this Soul Valley at some point. And they're taking single prize attackers, which is great. <clears throat> so, <coughs> there's a Guzma. All right, so they're going after him. This is fine then. If they're going after my Ranguru, then I just win, because I have an Ultra Ball in my hand. Hmm. Let's see. So I would hope. So, let's see. So they ended up sky scorching light GX. This doesn't really do much. So I think I'll Ultra Ball for my cargo. And then I'll smooth over for. Guzma? I feel like that's fine. Oh! Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 where is it, where is it, where is it? Tate and Liza. And then I'll just switch. Right? At least that's what I'm thinking. I'll instruct, hopefully, that these next two cards are burnable. They're not, which is unfortunate. So, I can attach here, then I can switch. 
Just all out. Oh! I didn't even- Oh, sweet! I did it! Sweet! I didn't even know I had the knockout there. That was perfect. That felt good. That felt really good. Alright, so doing 690 damage, which is great. That felt amazing. This deck is just a lot of fun now. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you guys are too. So what is the end of this ladder? So Valley? I think Lucy means like the end of the end of the stage here, right? Yeah. Oh I can click on it. That's cool. So yeah. Lucy means the last thing here. I already have one, which is surprising. I thought I did, didn't have one. Anyway. Um yeah. Let's keep roll. Uh, let's keep rolling with Granville until until I lose. I guess. I say that now, and I probably will lose. <coughs> Sweet, I won the coin flip. And if I do lose, I will take a break because I'm gonna grab myself uh, some food quickly. All right, Apricorn Maker. That's great, actually. And there's a shrine too. So. I got a couple burnable cards here. The energy recycle system's a little annoying, but that's fine. This is an Aranka root. Okay, so that's a that's another card that I don't own. Oof, yeah. Alright, let's see. Um, let's Apricorn Maker for a Nest Ball and an Ultra Ball, probably? I think two Nest Ball. Um, let's just go Great Ball. That seems fine. So I can bench the Slugma. Nest Ball for a Rangaroo. And I have one in deck as well. I have both my cargo, I have the Grand Bowl prized. Okay, it doesn't look like anything insane is prized. And then not that I can tell immediately. Who's this here? I have a Diantha prize, or is it in my hand? No, it's, it's prized. I have an Acorn Maker, Apricorn Maker prize, a shrine in my hand. I don't think I'll play it until I see. Because it's yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. Then I'll nest ball again for another snubble. We'll see what I get off the here. Ooh. I can I think I'll get the med cargo first. That's a bit more I feel like that's more important at this stage. I can attach there. And I'll pass. That seems fine. Depending on my top deck, I could maybe. Uh, I can probably. Yeah, I, I think I'll. I think I'll be fine for right now. Let's see what I end up doing. Okay, so they're gonna be playing Cynthia. There's a nest ball. I don't even know what I'm playing against. Slegma. There's an ultra ball. Oh, it's my cargo GX. Alright. I dig it. I dig it so well. Alright, instructing for two. Cool, cool. So, it is my cargo. Oh, ditto. Okay, cool. So. I'll go on and evolve here. I think I will play the Ditto. Yeah, this seems fine. That way I can evolve into whatever I need to. And then... I can... Attach here. Smooth over for... An Ultra Ball. If I have... If it's in here, yeah, it's in here. So I have three Ultra Ball left after this. 
instruct for one. And I'll ultra ball. And grab myself a grand bolt. Now we shall level off. And now we shall all out. <coughs> for knockout. And then we take a prize. Sweet, another grand bolt, so I have a response. Which is nice. There's a Cynthia, there's another energy coming down on the Slugma. I send my cargo. So they might be able to take the knockout here. There's a big teeny. Ooh. That choice man's kind of useless. Crushing charge. Oof. That's unfortunate. I really end up discarding my cargo. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> <laughs> So let's go on and evolve there. I kind of want... Mm, maybe I shouldn't have evolved. I kind of wanted the rescue stretcher that way I can get down and then my cargo. Let's... Let's skip that rescue stretcher, actually. And hopefully this next card is burnable. Yeah, let's get the rescue stretcher. Burnable, that's great actually, so... Okay, so, I think I'll know what I want to do here. We'll attach there, we'll do that. We'll shuffle three Pokemon back into my deck. We'll just bring back that guy. Now we're all out. <coughs> I'm not knocking him out, which is unfortunate. A shrine would be great. And another slug mode would be great as well. There's a choice bin coming down. That's getting attached to that slug mode. So they're taking we're trading we're trading two for one. Which is fine. So I can go up with this grand bowl. And that's a fiery flint, so I'm gonna need to just burn two cards. Right? There's nothing. What is this? Um, search is a uh, discard. Yeah, so. So I'm just gonna have to do that. I could Diantha. Get myself another Ultra Ball and a Nest Ball. Because that seems fine. Yeah, it seems fine, honestly. Ultra Ball and Nest Ball, Ultra Ball Way, the Fiery Flint, and the Ultra Ball and Nest Ball for something else. Yeah. Okay, so we'll dang it though. Get myself a net ball, nest ball, and an ultra ball. That way I can ultra ball away these guys. Get myself, let's say, another and a rangaroo and a slugma. Seems fine. Yeah. Nest ball. I got myself a slugma. <coughs> Alright, perfect. Now I can take the knockout. Cool. Bodybuilding dumbbells, that's great. I can get myself a mysterious treasure. Mm. Where's my cargo? There's a judge. Oh, okay, this should be interesting. This should be very, very interesting. Uh, okay, field blower, great ball, rescue structure, and then a uh, energy transfer for turn. We'll have to see what my fifth card is. Oh, magma ring? Oof. Alright, uh, bodybuilding dumbbells. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go on and attach to, I guess, an Orangaroo? I don't know. We can do that. Let's... You can rescue stretch your back, shuffle the Pokemon back. 
into my deck. Yeah, so then we'll do that. And then we can actually smooth over for something else. We can do that. We can smooth over, put the put the other mech cargo on top of my deck. And then great ball for it, then we can. And great ball for it, yeah. That way I'm just kind of just set up to wherever I need whatever I need to do. I can just much more just feel more of that away. And I'm good. <coughs> Alright. An apricorn maker, that's really nice. That way I can get whatever I need. What is that? I, I kind of want a shrine, honestly. Like, if I'm being perfectly honest, I would like a shrine. There's a crushing charge. Great. Fifteen. Six and seventeen. I think they have to knock out. Yeah, they do. Okay, no, that's fine. So I can now. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I can. Let's see. I I want a fairy energy on a snubble. So. I think what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna. Smooth over for a fairy energy, and then I'm gonna instruct for it. Play April Corn Maker, get myself a nest ball and a great ball. Do I need to get two? No, up oh, to two. Okay. So I just need the great ball. I just need the nest ball, right? Yeah. Done. Okay. Then I'll nest ball for another snubble. Then I want a choice win as well, that way I can hit hit this guy as hard as possible. So I think I have one in deck. I do. I have all three of them in deck. So then I can instruct again. I'll have to do that. Instruct. <coughs> Pull the choice band. We'll attach. We'll just shrine down. Then we'll just all out. That way it's just on a That way it's on a clock. There's a Cynthia. How many Yeah, it should be fine. 19 cards in deck. I should be able to get what I need. Alright, so. <coughs> Where's that? Smooth over for whatever they need. Energy recycler. Alright, there's that. Okay. Or the 5 energy. I'm pretty much just set up at this point. I shouldn't be able to lose as long as they're. Like, shoot, I could take a knockout with Snubble if I wanted to. As long as I get a, uh... As long as, long as I get a trainer card. Up to two trainer cards. Alright, so he's gone. So let's put up Snubble. And hopefully it's a trainer card. Oh, that's even better. Sweet, that was a great top deck actually. <laughs> <coughs> oh, that feels nice. That was really nice. Sweet. Doing 990 damage. That's pretty great. Ugh, oh, and just getting more stuff. So all just feels really great, I'm not gonna lie. 
is this? Oh yeah, that's where I traded the Green Bull. <laughs> All right, Green Bull is my baby now. Let's go. Fire and Kylo this. All right, that should be interesting. I don't have decent win streak, so I'm super excited about that. Ente. Ente coin. All right. Lost a coin flip. That sucks, actually. Hmm. Okay, Snubble. We got an April Corn Maker. This is actually a solid hand. Just an energy would be really nice, actually. If I'm being perfectly honest, that'd be an energy just for the turn. That'd be great. Okay, so we got another Slugma. Is this another another my car? I mean, it's about too soon. It's a Turtonator deck of sorts. Slugma or my cargo Turtonator? I don't think we know, honestly. It's all very interesting. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'll be good. He's <laughs> got the energy attachment onto Turtonator. Shell Trap. I haven't seen a Turtonator in action in a long time. Well, that Choice Man is kind of useless. There's a Kiawe. Okay. Turn 1 Kiawe. That's not good. So I'll definitely need to get another Snubble this turn. He's a beefy boy, goodness gracious! Great balls of fire, my god! Alright, let's apricorn maker first. <clears throat> let's get myself two nest ball. Triple nest ball, we can get ourselves another snubble, another a slugma, and I get myself an orangaroo. That seems fine. Yay. Triple, triple nest ball. Let's triple nest ball action, let's go. So I know there's snow on the bench. Got a slugma. And I got myself a Rangaroo. So that's all peachy, fine and dandy, and all all that nonsense. I can feel I feel safe attaching to this one. Probably. I I hope. Yeah, energy attachment there seems fine. That way it can just energy recycle system it back into either the deck or the hand. That just gives me options. Um, that pow pad is a little annoying. But, um, no. I could make a mess, do 40 damage. I don't really think I need to, though. I can, yeah, just not worry about that. We'll, we'll see what I end up having to do for the rest of the for the rest of this. So the ultra balling for some stuff. Probably for a mad cargo. GX. Oh geez, down to Cynthia. That's a little rough. That card better be solid then. A lily. Alright, there we go. So they have the turn on Kiawe. That I can find tan they can Knock me out by just discarding one. Okay, this is a very weird deck. A Turtonator, Entei, Mad Cargo deck. There's a whole oof, that's rough. That's all based on chance of that if you don't have the other Mad Cargo. So he's down, I can energy recycle system it back into the deck. So I can or get it out this turn. Uh, Mad Cargo, that's an amazing top deck actually. Then we'll do that. Into my hand. We'll attach there, we can smooth over for an ultra ball, get down another snowball. Um, which is nice. Uh, looks like I have a Guzma prize, which is a little unfortunate. 
and I'll instruct. <coughs> a little snubble. I definitely need that. And I'll all out for knockout. Or not knockout, but just 160. I have a snubble on the bench, which is really nice. Ow, got on the butt. Whew. Ultra ball. Right, this is my cargo. Okay. So now they're gonna be Fontaine 15. I just need to. Oh gosh, my head is just a lot. <laughs> okay. Pushing charge. Probably attaching it to the turn here. Because he just needs to discard two from here. Here's a Lily. There's five. A big teeny. And a Sigma. And so it's a my cargo deck. With. What's it called? I didn't even know. Alright, so there's an energy attachment on the big teeny. Which is a little unfortunate. So they're just gonna lava flow, discarding three energy from this Pokemon, I think. Yeah, so they have to discard three. Or two, yeah, because it's, it's 50 base. Son of the man. The snubble. Apricorn Maker, that's really great, actually. So I can get myself. A nest ball and a great ball, right? No. Ooh, man, I don't have an energy. That's the issue, though. Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is my second my cargo deck in a row, so it's uh, very fun. Oh, no, wait, hang on, do I have Snubble's prize? I have one Snubble prize, and I'm gonna be down one. Oh, jeez, this is really bad. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll get these out. I'll get myself... Because I need the energy, so I'm gonna smooth over for the energy. And hopefully... I have a Grand Bull? This is this all comes down to the luck of the draw at this rate, so so we can nest ball for a ditto. I think that's what I'll do first. Grab myself a ditto. Hopefully, this is a grand ball. It's not a grand ball, which is really unfortunate. We'll get that down, and then do that. Do that. I mean, at this rate. I can't smooth over, which is unfortunate. I could safely attach to one of these guys. And then just pass. This is all very, very skewed. Or very, very sketchy on my part. Alright, so they got another Mac Cargo. Mac Cargo GX. I think that's one of the weirder ones to have a GX, besides like Sigilith and. Um. What is it? Sigilith Shuckle is another weird one to have a GX now. And my cargo. Yeah, but they're taking way too many prizes, which is really unfortunate. So there's a sights here. Yeah. This might be where we lose, which is unfortunate. Because they're already up two prizes, or going to be up three prizes, which is really bad. They just need to discard one damage, so... Alright, so... I need a... Oh, they discarded all of them? Why did they do that? I, I guess there's no real point, since I'm gonna be trying to take the knockout. Alright, so let's... Smooth over for the Grand Bull. Put it on top. Oh, great ball. 
for the Grand Bowl. That was my only Pokemon. That's... Thank goodness I smoothed over for that. Then we'll evolve. And then we'll all out. It sucks that I'm... I don't have a Snubble down on the bench, which is really bad. Alright, there's a Fairy Energy and Choice Band. Ah, this, this might be where I lose. Because I was just really struggling just to get down what I needed. I don't know if I misplayed or not, but it's really unfortunate. Um, let's see what I end up getting from this. So the Turtonator's coming up. So he's probably going to be knocking me out with Bright Flame. And I don't have an, a retaliation. I think I'm going to lose this. I I was never able to get down another another snubble this turn. Just really bad. Yeah, they're just taking they're just bright flaming me for the knockout there. There's no way I'm gonna be able to win this. Cause this was a bit of a struggle. Yeah, so there goes Granville. There's an apricorn maker, but I'm not really sure what that does for me. I can maybe grab myself two great balls. Hopefully that I don't fail one. Do I smooth over this turn to guarantee myself one? I wouldn't even know. I think I... I'll smooth over for my cargo. <clears throat> that way I can guarantee it. Then I'll smooth over for something else, but I really don't know about that. And then get something stuck in the active. I don't. I'm not really sure. That was unfortunate. So let's smooth over. Yeah, I. My recovery stuff is gone. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and rescue stretcher. Shuffle in three Pokemon back to my deck. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. I don't think I'll be able to win. Which is really unfortunate. And then I'll just pass, I guess. Because there's not much else I can do. This is really unfortunate. Oh man. Oh well. Yeah, that's a Guzma. Probably taking out my Angranguru. That's my final form of draw. <sighs> Infinity for 160 damage. She's got to shuffle back all their... I mean, it's not gonna matter, so... It's, an, it's unfortunate, honestly. Oh well, well... Yeah, there's no way I can win. Oh well. In any case, that's fine. I am. I sh shall be right back. I think I will stream for about one more hour, but I'm going to get myself some food, so I shall be right back.
All right, I'm back. Just want to get myself some some food, so I'll probably be eating on here. Just... You don't mind me. All right. I think I want to play some Blissapalon. I actually haven't played Blissapalon myself. I played against it, so we shall see how this all works out. Run the coin flip, nice. Uh, ooh. So we got the heat factory start, which is nice. Okay. So I think we'll mysterious treasure away a choice helmet. Myself another poi pole. And a serious treasure away of fire energy. Myself another poi pole. And I can have myself pretty set up for now. I'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, heat factory. Prism star. More fire energy. That's great. <coughs> and we'll marsh shadow. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna try not to die. Alright, so I can get myself a Blacephalon this turn. Which is fine. Question mark? Yeah, I can discard these two fire energy and I should've go for a Lele. I have two Blacephalon prize. What is this nonsense? Okay, so this is my only Blacephalon uh, in my deck. I have two prize, I have a, which is a little insane. Um, hello? That's a little insane. What is going on? Alright, um. I think I will just get the Lele and shuffle draw six. That seems fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll get. Ah, uh, maybe I can get myself a little bit of string. Well, this seems fine. Just to get straight draw. But holy crap. That was a little insane. Okay, so we got a Blacephalon. We got some more stuff down. You got a Guzma for next turn. Um, yeah, this seems uh, it's fairly standard. Cool. Playing against a dog band deck. <clears throat> of sorts. There's a choice band, and he's got a dead hand. Which is a little unfortunate. And so, go ahead and evolve the benched ones. You can attach here, can serious treasure away, this point pull. Myself a Naganado. Get this down on the bench. I'm charging up fire and use an on them. Charging up another fire energy. Then I'm safe to eye opener, I think. Yeah. I can afford to discard a beast energy in Ultra Ball this turn. Alright, this is an Ultra Space. I can also Heat Factory as well. Alright, there's another Ultra Space. Okay. So. Let's Eye Opener. Let's see what we got. Okay. Well, Cephalons on the side. Naganado up there. Sophocles. 
So those two of my Blacephalons, that's nice to know that they're in my prizes, two of them. Jesus Christ. Uh, and then the other four I don't really care about. The ones I probably care about is the Beast Room. And I'll be fine. Yeah. So Blacephalons, Ultra Ball Sophocles, Beast Ring, Naganadal. Are you not gonna do anything, my dude? You gotta do something. I should choice man and pass. Or endure, I should say. Alright, so. There's not really much I need to do, so I'm going to charge up. I'm going to charge up while I can. I don't really think I need Ultra Space. I could get myself a little tense there. I will goose me up that fan fee. Bring him up. And then I shall just mind blown for. I can just take that one off and that one off. That's doing 100 damage. There you go. Um, I can get myself this Naganadal right here. Oh, that's unfortunate, my dude. Two hundred fifty damage. Why not? All right, I need to see this guy's deck. All right, let's see. <clears throat> How was he not able to get a draw card? He's got two Judge, two Tangmies, and four Cynthia, four Lillian, a Kakui. What is this nonsense? How was he not able to get a draw card? Maybe, yeah, definitely, definitely discarding those two Cynthia was not good. It was really, really unfortunate. Alright. Alright, let's keep it going. I'll swing one first. I have no idea what I'm playing against, so this should be all great. All right, this this should be fun. Starting off with a turn one, more shadow. All right. So let's go on and then ultra ball away the fire. Two fire energy. That seems fine. I got myself. All right, my. Everything is in deck. This is great. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 4 fire energy prize. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 4 fire energy prize. I was Sophocles prized. And a Lily prize. So those are my prizes. Which is cool, I guess. I just got myself a Poipal. Let's just start that off. We can get the energy attachment onto it. Little Cynthia. That's your. Oh, I'm playing against Malamar. That's what I'm playing against. All right, so we can. We can. 
get the lily out of here, but get myself another poi pole. Uh, and we can get down ultra space. Get myself a Blacephalon. And Mary Chorus Helm seems fine. Attaching there. We'll save it for now. We'll see. Some sort of necros. Oh, it's a, oh, it might be a. It might be a. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, this is a spread deck, I think. All right, actually, I appreciate the Marshadow. So that's really nice, actually. Okay, cool. Oh, I have another bus. Oh, God, it's getting rid of another DCE? Jeez. <clears throat> That's a little insane, actually. Man. It's just like right there, and I'm just like not slumped over all the time. Po Town, aw. That was unexpected. Yeah, there's the Coco. Tina, come on. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I can. Hmm. I'm kind of running another point pull down. I think it will attach. Hmm. We'll attach here, and then I will lay lay for Cynthia. <clears throat> I definitely want to get that done. <clears throat> Maybe find a counter. I'll come up with fire and uh, get another point pull. <clears throat> Vincent, yeah. Cool. No counter, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Ball can. There's not much I can do about it, which is honestly kind of bad. <clears throat> Mysterious Treasure Wars Shop, but please get myself another. another one. <clears throat> That's all, folks. Oh. Do that. Cause not, maybe I should have waited then? I don't know. <clears throat> we'll definitely have to see how much the game progresses. Take out the Rangaroo and the Coco. Mm, Coco then first, then a Rangaroo. I can attach the Beast Energy to the Cephalon. Alright, there's a DCE, which is really unfortunate. <clears throat> there's a Guzma. Alright, who you me up then? Oh, Lele? Ooh. Alright. 
don't know what I'm looking for, honestly. We can attach there. Charge up onto that one. And Cynthia, I don't have a stadium counter. Uh, oh, and I cannot get out of the active either. Alright, so there's the stadium, which is great. I'm gonna get that and that there. Get myself another Naganado. So not completely set up, but I can't do much of anything. Get some energy on this one. <clears throat> so now I'm just kind of stuck. I don't really have much else going on, so I'm just kind of stuck here. Oh, here's Malamar. What's that? Just haven't been able to get my what's up run into the active. Oh, come on. That marsh shuttle start really hurting you too. Touching the more shadow for some reason, I'm not really sure why. He's a beast energy, so let's go on and get rid of him. I'm just mind blown. I just need to get rid of two, right? Yeah, so we can get rid of one there, one there. I think. 5, 10, 1 till 13, yeah. There we go. Yep. Cool. There's a fire engine. We're just going down, unfortunately. There's another Coco. Sure what that was for. Alright, so there's another gear routine of it. This car pop. That's great. This is another lost cause. Unfortunately. Oh. And there's another Coco. Can't have too many Cocos, right? Are these the same promo? Yeah, 31. Ooh, no more. really hurt a lot. And so, this gear team is taking up my Blissafalon. It's really unfortunate. And so, I'm 40 damage there. And then, I'm not really sure what I should do at this point. Go up with Naganado maybe? Let's do that. Alright, so I can get another one down. How much energy do I have? Five energy in the discard over here. A B string. Onto this guy. We can B string again. Onto here, right? I think the will be damage one, just fine. Then we can treat into him, attach. <laughs> Choice helmet seems uh, pretty pretty fine in here. Then we can charging up. The charge up three times is so pretty nice. Alright, so then we'll do that. 
and then you charge up again. Then I'll Cynthia. Yeesh. And I'll just mind blown. Get rid of one, two, three. I don't think we'll be able to win this, which is unfortunate. Uh, cause it's not weak to, it's not weak to psychic, it's weak to dark. And plus I'm not on a four prize, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a three prizes, so. Let me pull out the Naginatal. See, it's weak to dark, not to psychic. Um, so, against Zorark, Gear, uh, playing Zorark with Giratina as the opponent's active Pokemon, great. But against other psychic Pokemon, it's not really great. It's Ghost Dragon, I think. So there's two more there. At some point, I'm expecting these damage swap Lele to come in. This Marshad is going down now. I'm realizing it. So, I have pretty much access to the rest of my deck. I can... I mean, I don't have any fire energy. I have four... The, I've, I had four fire energy prize in my, in my deck, which is really unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, we'll just Cynthia. Well, there's a shrine. Jeez, it took me long enough to find a shrine. Yeah, I could do that, but they also have the spell tags attached to them as well. So I'll be taking four extra damage counters, and I don't really have my field blower. With I don't have access to my field blower. So do I risk it for the biscuit? Maybe. We'll see. Let I'll. I'll huh? Let's see. I'll take him out. I guess it's probably it's probably gonna backfire hard. Honestly, um, I have no energy in my deck. Is this turning point for the knockout, I guess? You can't knock out my... It's, I, honestly, there's, I think I'll, I'm losing regardless, so anything I do would probably just feel bad. So, I think there's no way I can win at this point, so I think I'm just gonna concede it. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm... What do I want to go for here? What can I build? What can I trade for? That's a good question. Let's see what I can trade for. Curious now. Oh, okay. I'm giving away all this stuff for... A I don't even know what the heck this is. Pikachu themed avatar stuff. Try and trade for nine tails. I'll see what people are wanting for nine tails. Um. I can't spell. Acceptable trades. Non acceptable trades. Probably no one's probably trading for nine nine tails. Which I can understand why. <laughs> Y'all just wait. <laughs> Oh, I did. Yeah, you're right. I'm an idiot. I didn't realize it. Hang on. Golden nine tails. 
There you go. Um. I'm getting an Alola Ninetales. Yeah, that's what I figured. No. No Alola Ninetales. That's from Guardians Rising. I do not want to trade that. Let's see. Guardians Rising. I'd be trading two Zoroks with mine, which I really don't want to do. Um, a Shrine for the Guardians Rising one. I don't want to do that either. This one's garbage. Um, that's from Lost Thunder. I really don't want to trade by Zoroks, though. <clears throat> GX, see what pops up in the in here. Huh, 15 packs. 17 packs for that one. 15 packs. Huh, interesting. Whoa, whoa. Huh? Yeah, I don't have tropical beaches. I wish I did. Anyway, I think I'll go back to the deck manager and see what I can come up with. What's the buzz rock he's landed? Um, what can I make? I have Blacephalon made, I have buzz rock tails made, I have Granbo. Uh, what's this old Leo deck? Yeah, it's got the one of nine tails in there. Two one nine tails. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll play nine tails. Yeah, I'll play Soul Leo. Uh, yeah, here's a. I'm not really sure what to play. I'm honestly not sure what to play. I kind of want to go back to Bramble, honestly, so I think I'll just play some more Bramble. Gets me thinking. I'll probably be streaming for about half an hour more, so. So we shall see. Hmm. Okay, so we got Snowball Start. What am I playing against? Actually, I have no idea. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, it's Ray. Let's go. It should be GG easy, right? As long as they don't get the turn one more shadow, because this hand's actually not bad. Get myself two nest balls. And then get myself next turn an ultra ball. Shrines are pointless in this matchup. Here's a Volkner. A nice full art Volkner. I appreciate that. Nothing else. Alright then. There's a Grand Bull. So let's get two Nest Balls then. <clears throat> that way I can get that down. Get myself a Slugma and an Orangaroo. <clears throat> Looks like I have an Orangaroo prize as well. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. Alright, so there's an Arangaroo. Um, the Choice Band, I can attach there. And we can. Shrine there. And yeah. Right, so I have Grand Bull for the next turn. As long as there's, this, if their start is this slow, then it's kind of insane. It would be nice to get another... What's it called? Another snowball down on the bench. 
that would have been really nice to have, it was just like in my hand. So there's a Wistful Baton and a Grass Ranger down. So it looks like I'm, I don't even know what that, oh, grubbing, let's go. <clears throat> so I see four prizes right in front of me right now. There's a Devoured Field. Ooh, they could just need two energy on there. <clears throat> Probably just going to Tempest, maybe? Or no, just Cynthia. That's fine. And then I can, I can go for... Let's see, what should I do here? I can get Apricorn Maker... We'll see what my top deck is, too. Because I know I'm definitely evolving the active. There's going to be two energy. There's not going to be any energy on their side of the field. They're just going to Tempest. Yikes. Alright, so there's ten cards in their hand. Okay. Alright, so there's an energy, which is nice. So we'll go on and do that. We'll attach there. We'll get the energy. Then I can Nest Ball and Ultra Ball. Nest Ball for another Snubble, Ultra Ball for a Macargo, which is great. That way I can control my top decks. I don't think I will. Um, I don't think I will smooth over though this turn. We'll see what I. We'll see what I get. I think. Hmm. We'll just all out for now. There's a nice ball. There's a grain bowl, which is nice. So I can't just smooth over. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh well, they're just gonna concede. Which I mean is fair. I do hit them for weakness. God, my hair is just freaking nightmare sometimes. So I'm just gonna keep this hat on. That way, I don't have to worry about it. <coughs> I think I'll, yeah, I'll keep going, and hopefully within the 35 minutes, I will be able to hit the Silk Alley GX. Which would be nice. Alright, let's keep playing some Grand Bolt. <laughs> Alrighty. Basics. It's a little rough. Mm. Excuse me. Alright, we got in the Rangaroo. Ooh, two snubbles. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I don't. Why is it going first? I don't remember. I think I will bench them. I feel safe enough to. Oh, I think I'll stop for now. Oh, it's Greninja. It's a Greninja deck of sorts. Greninja Zorark. Or Zorark Greninja. Looks like they're favoring more of the Greninja line than they are the Zorark line, which I can notice. Which I can see. All that. If this has a water energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost, which is like, alright. They got the Zerua. They said they can trade stuff. Alright. Cool, so no hand disruption. So we got that down, we can get that down. Got myself a Slugma. A Slugman. And yeah. Mm. We can maybe Great Ball, see what we get off it. Uh, I. Let's get that first. Yeah. And could maybe Ultra Ball. I can Ultra. I can safely Ultra Ball, honestly. Ultra Ball away for a. Not Cargo. That seems fine. 
and again, I like first step of turns of instructing. Hope they can hit an energy. Uh, so we can attach there, and I can instruct again for one more. That's what I do. Okay, that seems fine. And then yeah, cool. So I can instruct for. Hmm. Alright, so there's a Grint Frogadier coming down, putting two damage counters somewhere. Cool, cool. Timer ball. Oh, dang. Yeesh. That sucks. You hate the double, double tails on timer ball. So now let's super scoop up. There's the heads. Probably picking up the Frogadier. Yeah. Bringing up another Froki. Yeah. And then evolving it. Putting two more damage counters somewhere. So let's see what my top deck is. So that'd be really nice to know. Super scoop up again. Alright, that, that's a fail this time around. Guzma. Rangaroo, that's fine. Honestly, I can maybe Guzma. Alright, so there's just Snowball. I don't think I'll... So let's go on and then Evolve. Then I shall... And do I put it down or no? I think I will smooth over. Because I want to get a Granbull. I see the lights like that's. That's my biggest thing, that I want a Granbull. So then we'll bench him. We'll... We can take Miza. Instructor 2? Question mark. Hopefully the other one's a burnable card. And that's unfortunate. Let's instruct again. See what we can get off this. Great ball. Okay. It's doable. Another my cargo. Don't really need it. So, I'm sort of stuck here now. Ditto is... Is... Not going to be really useful to me. And there's an ultra ball. Lele. <laughs> we think the energy really hurt there. And I got a Zorg, which is unfortunate. I can't now rescue Stretcher for it back if they end up knocking out my. If they do end up knocking out my Gramble. Because they just need. Guzma, I guess. There's the retreat. Probably gonna put up a uh, Zorg. If I'd have to guess. So I can rescue structure for it back. Put, put down Ditto. Uh, put up Snubble. Rescue structure for it back. Hopefully that my top deck's an energy. There's another Zorg. It's a struggle right now. And that's just saying if they do not come on. Oh man, okay. I could... Let's try and see if I don't even know where to go from here. Alright, so there's a Lele. Okay, cool. So there's a Fiery Flint. That's not good. Yeesh. I don't really want to get rid of this stuff. That's not what I really want to do. 
I'll smooth over. I need the energy, like, badly. So I'll do that. I can just fire flint. I am an idiot, why did I do that? I just... Ugh. Jeez. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Alright, so we can get down the shrine. We can get down another choice band. Let's instruct. There is an energy. Great. Awesome. Okay. That's fine. There's that. Get another grand ball in play. Now we're now we're rocking and rolling now. Now let's just all out for knockout. Sweet, sweet Jesus. That that took a while. That took a while for it to get there. <clears throat> so they. Let's see what my top deck is, because I can put down the Slugma now, and hopefully my top deck is a burnable card. Oh, there's energy down. Do they have the Do they have the rescue structure? Though? Or do not the. Okay, well, they, they have a supporter now. So now they can start searching for the cards that they need. Um, Lily or Cynthia would be fine. This is Cynthia. I'd probably go Lily, it's just straight draw is fine, since you already shuffled your deck. But I mean, I'm not the opponent, so I would have known. Alright, timer ball. Let's see if they hit it. One. They got one. Greninja. Cause this is going down into my into their turn, which is great actually. Cause I think they got the knockout here. Right, I'm not quite worried about that. <coughs> they don't have a counter stadium though, which is really gonna hurt them. There's an aqua patch. Probably gonna be going down on the Greninja. Sure, you can flurry. Oh no, the Furky. All right. Fair enough, I guess. <clears throat> Trade. Trading again. Trying to find that DCE. So Nathan, if you're still watching, how much? Uh, how much? Storage does your uh, like your new phone have for like recording videos and stuff? Because that's like some good information that I'd like to know. Right, is speeding for knockout. Nice. Alright, so we can go up with this grand ball. Alright, so it's now down to 200, 190 damage, 190 HP. Um, okay. Dang, nice dude. That's pretty solid actually. Uh, Alright, so. I can bench him, yeah. We could smooth over for the energy. Nice! That's actually really awesome. I think I'm gonna screw this up. Because I can't get down the sh. Let's go on and rescue switcher. That back. Put it back into my hand. <clears throat> the shrine's kinda killing me now. Oh, great. That's, that's awesome. Oh, Jesus. Bad. I don't want to do that, so we'll... Okay, yeah, I can do this. I can still do this. So we'll just instruct with the other card. Uh, yeah, this is completely... F this is completely fine. And then I'll just cancel that. There you go, then we'll just all out for knockout. <laughs> cool. 
Awesome. So now I just need... I can use my energy choice band, I think. Or no, I can just get the knockout here. So I just need energy. That's really all I need. So we can just put up whatever I need. Because I got the knockout of the Lele. Or Zoroark, actually. Yeah, or. Thirty damage on my cargo, which I can completely understand. There's a trade. Let's see. So, got that gone. Are they gonna shuriken flurry? Is that what they're gonna do? Or shadow hunter? GX maybe? I don't know. I was just gonna shuffle them back into the deck. <clears throat> What is your plan, my friend? Alright. Where would they where would they put the damage where it means anything? Two damage counters. Alright, so they're just gonna place it on the my cargo, which is fine. So I just need to draw onto my switch card then. And the ultra ball is gonna be a little annoying to get out of my hand. There's a rescue stretcher. Bring those two back. Hmm. A lily. <coughs> hmm. Oh, excuse me. Shadowy hunter. All right. So yeah, I just need to get drawn to my switch. Um, yeah, so let's attach a choice band there. Let's smooth over for my switch. Done. Yeah. Construct for one. Can use my him up. Can bring up the mech cargo. Can do that. I still have an instruct available, so that's what I'm gonna do. Strikes, yeah. And then I'll all out. Sweet! <laughs> Then. So I think I'll, I'm just gonna call the stream there. Uh, it was a lot of fun opening those packs for the first hour and then getting to play some some more decks. That was a lot of fun. But I'm gonna call the stream off for today. Um, thank you guys for so much for watching. I'll definitely be posting this up on YouTube. Hopefully it'll be up in the next couple of days. But uh, anyways, I will see you guys later. See ya.